Hi guys and welcome to the latest video. This is going to be a short what sold video sharing with you guys 10 recent sales um, on eBay. Uh, so without further ado I'm just going to switch across to the eBay pages and the first item I want to share with you guys is a inline remote control for a Sony mini disc player. Now it's well worth looking out for these types of items at car boots. You'll often find them in um, boxes of wires or if you do find a CD player or a mini disc player and it turns out to be faulty, all is not lost because often there is value in these accessories. Um, so this is an inline remote control. The model number is RM um, MC33L. And this would have plugged into a mini disc player, I believe, and you'd been you you would have then been able to control the tracks forward, backwards, volume, and it would have had this old little LCD display there. And um, this item sold for seventeen ninety nine plus shipping, so very pleased with that. Next item I want to share with you guys. Um, well worth looking out for these as well this is an apple firewire charger and cable so this is for the ipod classic first second and third generation ipods those were the ipods that used firewire the newer the ones that came after this switched to usb so very kind of grubby item because because these were that pristine apple white over the years they've become scuffed and damaged and you won't often find one in a good in good condition and often the actual firewire cable can be quite grubby so that's worth bearing in mind but the model is a1070 i think i would have paid no more than a pound for this item um max two quid I, I doubt it was even that much and i've actually sold two of them and that sold for 18 pound plus shipping so please with that Next item, this is actually something I shared on the car boot haul just this Sunday and today is Wednesday so it sold very quickly. This is an Amstrad compilation disc um, for the ZX Spectrum Plus 3. Um, as you can see in the title I have put it, it's untested. I whacked it up at quite a high price, £30. Um, I had no idea if it would fetch that or not um, but I received an offer for £15 plus I think like £8 in shipping because it's going abroad um, and I was more than happy to accept that and that's just going as a large letter so nice and simple sale. Um, moving on, uh, this is a cool vintage patina dye camping type jacket. Um, this was a charity shop pickup. I paid £1.50 for it, I believe. Um, nice jacket, very good condition. I did have it priced at £50 um, but and I received an offer a few days ago for about 16 pounds and with the shipping took it to around 20 um, and I didn't accept that and then someone else sent an offer through the other day and I was like okay let's have a look at this and it was only a 20 pound offer plus the shipping and I just thought you know what cut my losses I don't want it hanging around I only paid one pound 50 50 is what I was asking but I actually accepted 20 pound plus shipping on this item um, I don't mind that because like I said it was only a one pound 50 I believe outlay so I'm not gonna not gonna complain too much about that um, moving on this is a Paste 302 20 inch ride symbol made in Germany. This sold for the asking price of uh, £25.49 uh, plus £7.99 shipping. You can actually see that originally it was £29.99 and I'm running like a 15% sale here. Um, so it sold for in the end £25.49 uh, plus the shipping. Um, so yeah, pretty pleased with that. So this um, symbol came to us in a set that we bought from a car boot sale. We spent £50 and bought this giant drum set and it has more than paid for itself. We actually sold the hardware for like a tenner. We've sold one of the cases that one of the drums, the snare drum came in for a tenner plus shipping. Um, and then we've now sold this uh, symbol. We sold like a uh, 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 like a snare drum for 50 quid on its own so it's done really well for us so this sold for 25.49 plus shipping pretty pleased um another item that i shared with you guys just on um sunday uh, paid the equivalent well we paid 15 pounds 15 pounds for two items so you can call it seven pound 50 um per item this is a sony wm ex674 metal body cassette player untested again i had to sell it as for parts not working because I decided that when I got it in the office I didn't want to mess around and have it hanging around whilst I ordered parts to check if it works or not. Now if it was working we could have gotten possibly I don't know 70 80 pounds um, for it because it didn't have any box or any other accessories it didn't have the official charger it didn't have the battery adapter 
Um, but I thought that if I actually leave it and wait to buy those accessories, it's going to end up like some other electronics that I've got, which I have also kept thinking I'm going to order bits for them and I've never gotten around to it and then they just hang around and it's horrible so I just listed it straight away put it up at 50 pounds because of the fact that it was untested and it's just the unit there's no I, I didn't include the battery didn't include anything else received an offer of 30 pounds from abroad um, I think it was like Norway or somewhere we got the offer from um, and for 30 pounds I was like well if I was to buy something from seven pound fifty at the charity shop and sell it for 30 quid literally like a day or two um, later would I be happy and I decided yes I would and hence it's gone for 30 quid plus shipping um, moving on this is a service manual I've listed a bunch of service manuals um, and they are very slow but they do sell you have to obviously wait for the right person to come along this particular service manual is for a Technics SL XP5 compact CD player it's like a vintage CD player and we had it on at 30 pounds on sale it was 25.49 however we got an offer of 15 pounds um, because it was from abroad and the shipping was 15 pounds so in total gentleman has paid us 30 quid um, shipped and this is going to just go as like large letter so it's fine it's gone moving on this is a Nintendo DS bundle I paid five pounds for everything you see here this was a DS that I bought uh, about a month or maybe even two months ago now um, a coral pink DS came with the charger and these games I had it listed at 30 pounds plus shipping and it sold when it went in the 15% off sale. So it sold for 25.49 plus the shipping. So pleased with that sale. And recently, actually on Sunday, I shared that we picked up a bunch more DSs, but without charges. And we're going to be just selling those off separately. But that's cool. This is another charity shop item for £1.50. This is a pair of Nike men's uh, twill terrain shorts, Varsity Blue. Um, funny story, we had this up at £20 plus shipping. I believe um, we got a message, um, Beck answered this one. Um, guy said, oh, a guy had offered us £5 for these shorts. They, they've got their tags as well. And so we've sold them new with defects um, because they were kind of creased even though they did have their tags. Um, obviously where, where they've been just folded and you know kept um, not in the best of shape folded in the, or thrown in someone's cupboard but they still had the tag on them um, anyway we got an offer of a fiver from someone because apparently you can get them for that much from Nike's website so we obviously declined um, and said okay that's fine do that um, and we waited for a more sensible offer and someone didn't even offer they paid the 16.99 plus shipping because it was on on sale so really happy with that Moving on to the final item, this is another charity shop pickup, I believe again it was for £1.50 or maybe £2 tops, this is a Sunderland FC 1999 2000s A6 shirt, size medium, number 9 with Niall Quinn on the back, um, the number 9 at the back had started to peel and it had cracking in the logo as we photographed and showed in the listing, um, we received an offer for someone, um, it was on that 25 quid. Uh, the sale took it down to 21.24 plus shipping but we had an offer of, from someone who wanted to pay 20 pounds all in uh, so basically like 16.50 plus the 350 shipping and again from 1 pound 50 or 2 pounds max uh, that's a pretty good flip um, and we're happy to see it go to um, someone who's going to actually really um, cherish it because apparently it's going to a Sunderland fan uh, you'd expect that wouldn't you anyway guys that was the final item so those are 10 sales we've had within the last week odd um, I hope you found some items there that are interesting or useful for you to keep an eye out when you're out searching at the car boots and charity shops if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching